Hey Casa, this is your news anchor Ryan reporting from my bedroom because we aren't supposed to leave our homes, but that's not enough to stop us from figuring out some way to air Casa Robo Live. First and foremost, everybody at CRL hopes that you're staying healthy and remaining indoors to stop the spread of germs. Secondly, starting uh, today on Monday, April 20th, we're starting our fourth quarter of the school year. Third quarter grades will be available for students to view by April 24th, so be sure you do that when you get the chance. Or, you know, don't, I'm not your mom. The rest of the school year will be completed virtually, so be sure to check your student emails and log into Google Classroom daily. Make this a habit. When this summer is through, and it's just me and you, is this dead or alive? Are you planning to stay, or will you run away, leaving me to ask why? This was the first of the letters I'd write to you, every morning and every night, and I'd never quite send them. Too lost in my thoughts, too afraid of what you'd say I know loving is hard, we're both broken and scarred But with you I can breathe As these days turn to months and these autumn nights come Is this love what we need? Are we willing to try putting in enough time to find out what Along with this new way of learning, we've adjusted to a new bell schedule. First period is from 9 to 9.55 a.m. Second period is from 10 to 10.55. After that, we have a two-hour break from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Third period starts at 1 and ends at 1.55, and our fourth period goes from 2 p.m. to 2.55 p.m. We understand that this is a rough change for many people, including teachers and staff, and apologize for any inconvenience. To the class of 2020, I am sorry to inform you that senior school events have officially been cancelled. However, we haven't heard official word of whether or not the sober grad trip has been cancelled, so stay tuned for when we get more details on that. Regarding graduation, Casa Robo is still working on ideas to celebrate the class of 2020. Casa Robo would also like to send our thanks and appreciation to all of those who had volunteered to be on the senior project panels this year. Now, unfortunately, those panels have been canceled, but the generous efforts have not and will not be forgotten. To the students of Casa Robo who need a work permit renewal or a new work permit, please view the bulletin that was sent out to students and families on April 17th. You can also view this bulletin for information on the definition of distance learning, instructional and learning modes, new school schedule, virtual bell schedule, and information on how things are going to be graded during distance learning, as well as pretty much everything I'm about to talk about. As for virtual lessons, please remember to be polite and respectful to your peers and teachers. Don't do anything that your teacher wouldn't allow in the classroom. Just think about what you say or do before you say or do it. And remember that misunderstandings are common. Just cut each other some slack, but be a good person too. that bulletin I mentioned earlier to clarify any questions you might have about virtual classrooms. 
I'd also like to remind you to subscribe to Cast Robo Live so that you can stay updated on when we have new content available to watch. We'll be having weekly quarantine editions each Monday at 10 a.m. Also follow our Instagram at casa.robo.live for updates. Last but not least, I'd like to remind you that although this pandemic is scary, we're going to get through it together. Aww. No, but really, we're all in the same boat right now, so keep that in mind next time you're staring at your ceiling because you have nothing better to do. You're not the only one doing that, and we're lucky enough to live in an era where we can contact other people just by tapping the screen a few times, so why not reach out and check on your friends? Come back next Monday at 10 a.m. for our stream and try to be the reason someone smiles today, even if that someone is yourself. Here's my quarantine, lockdown, confinement, whatever this is, this time. I heard some people say they were going to do a vlog, and that sounded like a fun and good idea, but I don't want to film myself, so I'm just going to animate it. So, yeah. On the day that it was announced that we were going to have a month off of school, I was both ecstatic, because that meant no school, which meant no midterms, but I also kind of uh, was nervous of AP testing coming up, and just, it was just a little concerning. Oh, and I was also nervous about the pandemic and COVID, and yeah, yeah, that too. To be honest, all I did was sleep in, play Animal Crossing, and draw. Um, um, oh, and my birthday passed during this quarantine, and although I wasn't able to go out and see most of my friends and family, I still consider it one of the better birthdays I've had. So yeah, I consider this a pretty good birthday, because, like, not to be sappy, but a lot of That's about it. Uh, yeah, that's it. A global pandemic would not be an excuse for me to extinguish my creative ability. Now, among other things, it was my responsibility to run the school broadcast from home. Okay guys, welcome to the set of the Cast Roble Quarantine Show. I'm going to show you around. So here, we have my blue Yeti hooked up to the PC. I'm running my Canon T7i with a kit lens over here, and uh, I will be taking this camera and putting a nifty 50 cannon on it and putting it right over there in front of the PC. And to give the background some more detail, I have added a blue LED light just to give it that nice blue and skin tone um, color palette, I guess. But I wasn't the only man in the country running a school broadcast. Some of them you might know well. What? Why do you have my socks, Buster? I don't even know. <laughs> Look at this dog. He's like, stop. Get that out of my face. Actually, yeah, I need you to put your foot. Oh. Oh. Yeah, alright. Yeah. I want you to change this lens from the 18 to 55 to the 50 mil right now. What? Wait, what do you want? Change the lens. Okay. Okay, wait, what is this for? Huh? You need to switch the lens. This is something you need to learn how to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, uh, twist yep. it clockwise. And it snaps in, boom. Okay, now I want you to put that onto the tripod. Yes, I know how to do that. W. Miller Films. Let's call you W. Miller Films for the sake of this. W. Mill. Now you're gonna have to set up your angle, and for the sake of this, I'll be your focus. I, I oh, yeah, this is the focus. Focus, the camera. Bro. What? Oh, hey. So you just finished your first quarantine announcements. This lighting yeah. sucks, huh? Close out. You just finished your first quarantine announcements. How was it? Oh, it was alright. I mean, it was. I mean, it's alright. <laughs> yeah. How are you gonna do better next time? Uh, be more prepared, probably. How has quarantine taken a toll on your life? I don't know, maybe just lazy, I guess. And that would not be the last time laziness affected the quarantine.
Laziness and boredom is the foundation of the quarantine, but it doesn't get to decide who you are. And the beautiful part about it is that we get the chance to explore things we've never done before. And maybe we can find new meaning and strength along the way. I'd say I'm guilty of reminiscing on the past when things get rough. It's time when I'm very thankful for having been a filmmaker as long as I can remember to capture these moments. But as nostalgic as it may be, the truth is, um, things will never be like that again. And, uh, at one point, I was thinking about this a lot, so I made this. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of the Castle Robley Quarantine Show. If you'd like to see more videos on the Castle Robley Live YouTube channel, check out one of those boxes right there or over there. Ooh, they look so fun and interesting. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Or don't, you know. Nobody's forcing you to do anything.